Welcome guys, you are in hospitality of Oscar's channel, a new video and new enjoyment. Before we start, watch out, spoilers ahead, let's get started. Now, I will summarize for you an action, drama, sport movie called Boyka, Undisputed 4. Here in Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, in an underground arena, there is a hero of our movie talking to himself. I spent 10 years in a pit worse than hell. Wait, always wait. I don't know what the purpose of this life is, but I still dream. Here in Kornia Komiai, a maximum security prison in Russia, we will watch Kochmer the terrifying fighter enter the ring. He killed his opponent easily, Kiev Sports Center. Kiro comes to Boyka to tell him he has found the fight he wants and is waiting for him. Boyka wants a legal fight, the fight in Budapest. It's the European Team Championship. He says to Boyka, I convinced the talent seekers to come see you in your next fight. If you fight well, you will convince them, Boyka says. So simple, good. The qualifying battle is about to begin. The winner of tonight's fight, will fight in the European Championship. Before you go, I must tell you, I saw the other fighter. He is brilliant, Boyka says. They are all good. Nothing stands between me and this tournament. The fight begins. The most perfect fighter in the world, Yuri Boyka. The fight is over. The audience love Boyka. He is going to the tournament. The talent scouts come to congratulate. Impressive. It's been a long time since we've seen an impressive fighter. In two weeks, we want to see you in the tournament in Budapest. This is your only chance. If you win, you'll be in the big league. If you lose, it's over, Boyka says. I don't lose, I will be there. Kiro comes to give award fight of tonight. He leaves and wants to get out. The ambulance comes to take body of the fighter. Boyka asks the doctor, what's wrong with him? The doctor says his condition is very serious. We will take him to the hospital. Looks like a concussion. Next day, Boyka he goes to the official Kirill's office to ask him about the condition of yesterday's fighter. He says, you won, don't care about him. Boyka gets angry and says, answer me the question. He is dead. Don't worry, it was an accident. You are not responsible for his death. Boyka wants the name and address of the dead. Victor from Drovny, a Russian fighter. Boyka is sad. What about his family? Does he have a wife? Kids. Boyka wants the things of the deceased. He searches the bag and finds a letter. Victor's letter to his wife. Boyka wants a fake passport to cross the border. The official Kirill doesn't want this. The championship is two weeks later. Boyka says, I'm going to Russia. He says, are you crazy? Why go to Russia? You are wanted there. What about your dream? Budapest heroism. Boyka is angry and wants a fake passport. Here is Drovny in Russia. This is Victor's wife is. This Zurab has a club and a wrestling ring in this city. He comes to the funeral, Zurab says to Alma. He was a good man and a good fighter. You owe me, Alma says, I will work for you to pay the debt. Boyka is ready to go to Drovny to meet Alma. Director Kiro says, if I don't able to stop you, at least listen to me. Stay away from the commercial buses. 
Because they cross a major border with a heavy guard, you have to get into the local pickup trucks that will take you to a makeshift military checkpoint. The soldiers there have no internet. They are relaxed and uninterested. Stay your head is low. That's how you have to cross without hindrance. Boyka succeeds in crossing the border and reaching Russia. He goes the next day to the address of Alma. Zurab's men come to take Alma. Boyka asks the guard where Alma works to go there. This is Zurab Arena. Alma works here to pay her debt. Boyka finds her. Alma says, who are you? Are you following me? Boyka says, no, I just want to talk to you. Alma refuses and says, I'm working. Zurab's men are coming to Boyka to take him out to talk. You pick the wrong girl, go home. She belongs to the boss. Boyka says, I just want to talk to her. When will she finish her job? Are you deaf? Get this man out of here. Boyka fights them. Zurab comes and claps. What a great show. You should fight for me. Boyka says, I don't care. I didn't come here for this. Zurab asks, why did you come then? I am here to talk to the waitress girl. I want to tell her something. Zurab says, you can tell me. Boyka says, no, I will talk to her. Zurab threatens Boyka and says, this is my city. I own Alma now. Don't try to approach her. Go away on my face now. The next day, Boyka goes to Alma's house. The guard wants to stop him. Alma comes to talk to Boyka. I am here to get your husband's letter. I'm sorry for your loss. Your boss, Zurab, is bothering you. Alma says, no, he gave me and Victor a loan in order to open this center. I am only working to pay the debt. Boyka says, it was me. I who fought Victor in the ring in Kiev. It was an accident. I came here to tell you if there is anything I can do for you. Alma cries and says, Yes, there is something you can do. Can you give it back to me? Boyka says, no, this money from our last fight. You have to take it. Alma says, what you say, it's blood money. For this you took my husband's life. You're a killer. Get away from me. Leave from here. Boyka is leaving home. Here in Zurab Arena, Slava brings these guys to Zurab. He says, this is a waste of my time. Slava says, this is what is available. What do you want? Zurab wants a professional fighter. Boyka enters. Zurab says, why didn't you leave? Did you reconsider my offer? Boyka says, I don't care what you said, how much she owes you. Zurab says, it's none of your business. She owes me a lot. Boyka wants to make a deal. I will fight for you. You make Alma free, Zurab says. Six fights. Boyka says, two, Zurab says, okay, three fights and then she owes me nothing. One condition, you have to defeat my hero. Igor comes and warns Boyka. Boyka says, we will start tomorrow and a night break between each fight. I want a place to train, Zurab says, of course there is a training club. It's nice to deal with you, Yuri Boyka, surprised. I told you, this is my city. I know everyone who comes here. But don't worry about the police, they're under me. Just remember, this is my arena, my rules. Kirill calls, Boyka says, I've been here a week. Kirill says, I lost a lot of money for championship and fix your knee. Boyka gets angry and says, just change the bus ticket. I'll be there. Here Alma comes to Boyka to say, I didn't ask you to fight for me. I don't want your help. I don't want your money. Just leave me alone. Boyka says, I'll leave you alone when I finish fights. I'm not fighting to get you. I'm fighting to pay your debts. Atone for my sins. Alma thinks Boyka loves her. Alma leaves. Boyka goes to the training center. He prepares for his first match. Boris Tarsov vs. Yuri Boyka
Boyka goes to Alma's house for practice. Some kids are watching. Boyka says, it's okay, let them. They don't bother me. Here Boyka wants to take some water. Alma says, do you want anything? Boyka says, I need water. Does the sound bother you in training? Alma says, no, I miss this voice. Victor does not stop training. The second match, the Ozrov brothers against Yuri Boyka, two against one, Zurab says, remember Boyka, my arena and my rules. Let's see. He received a heavy blow in the lower back. The winner is Boyka by a double knockout. The policeman Koshev, Zura bribes him to get the prisoner Koshmer. Koshev says, this is very difficult. I will lose my job. I can't get him out of prison, Zurab says. I have an escaped prisoner named Yuri Boyka. I will hand him over to you after finishing. Boyka comes back late. Alma offers Boyka ointment to treat his back. She says, you shouldn't fight for me. Boyka says, why don't you run away from here and leave? Alma gets angry and says, this place was our dream. We take care of all children here. Without us, they'll join gangs. Kirill is calling again. Your name is in all newspapers and billboards. They're waiting for you. Don't forget your bus leaves at 9.45 tonight. Don't be late. Boyka says, don't worry, I'll be there. Boyka enters his room and finds Alma wants Boyka to tell her about the fight with Vector. How her husband died, Boyka says, I was an angry man, full of hate. I've done hundreds of fights, in the worst arenas, and in the worst prisons. I want to prove myself to the world. When I'm fighting someone in the ring, I don't see a husband. I don't see anything else, just someone standing between me and my dream. I didn't mean to kill him. I'm sorry and he regrets. Alma leaves. The third match, Yuri Boyka versus Igor. The fight is over. Boyka must return to Kiev for the tournament. Police come to take wrestler Koshmer. Zurab says, good fight Boyka. Where are you going? I want to catch the bus. It's over. She's free, Zurab says. What's over? The agreement is three battles and you must defeat my hero. Boyka gets angry and says, I defeated your hero Igor. Zurab says, it was your third fight. He is not my hero. Now you must defeat my hero. Otherwise the agreement does not exist. Kiro calls. Are you in the bus now? Boyka says. I can't leave now. Is there a last bus? Kiro says. At 10, you can't reach Budapest if you miss it. Boyka wants to finish the last fight. The Nightmare Kochmer versus Yuri Boyka.
The last fight is over. Zira betrays the promise. 10 o'clock at night. It's late. Boyka is very angry. The fight starts between Boyka and Zurab's men. Boyka arrives at Zurab and says, we had an agreement, let her go. Alma saves Boyka. Boyka kills Zurab. The police come to take Boyka to prison. After six months, in Kornia Kalmi prison, Russia, Boyka has a visit. It's Alma. She came to check on Boyka and says, you proved to me that there is something good in this world. I came here to thank you because you gave me back my dignity and freedom. I forgive you. Here is end of our movie. I see you in new summary.